Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. I'm Gwen, and you are here to hopefully create an awesome life. That's really the intention behind this podcast. And what I'd love to talk about this week is resistance. Now, resistance is something that will actually hold you back from having an awesome life because it really is hindering the fun and the joy that you can have. So what exactly is resistance? Well, Stephen Pressfield, who's the author of many popular books, two of my favorites are The War of Art and Turning Pro. He's also the writer of The Legend of Bagger Vance and many other books. He says that resistance is self-sabotage. And I was really thinking about this um, a little bit further because today I woke up with a bit of resistance. I have, and he also says that resistance will tell you anything to keep you from doing your work. So it's those excuses that pop up in your head that just feel so wildly uncomfortable and really hold you back from creating the work that you want to in the world. But it can also be resistance around finances. It's tax season right now. Maybe you have some resistance to taxes. There's resistance with fitness, resistance with business, resistance with conversations in your family. So I'm here to also say that I don't think resistance is necessarily a terrible thing. It's here to tell us something. So in this podcast today, I want to share with you about how I notice resistance popping up and what I've been doing to let it go to really just so we can really just have enjoy life that little bit extra. So I want to share with you right now, I am about going through, I'm teaching my course, lead the course, and we're uh, very close to the end of the live teaching and the end of this cohort of the course. And I'm also in a couple of courses myself that are coming to the end. And it's really fascinating when you are creating something that's really important to you. And also if you're taking a course and noticing that people around you might be further ahead or you're starting to go, oh, am I really getting the value out of this course? Um, and this resistance can start popping up and, and showing up in your life. So today, as I was going to be doing a live Q&A with my students and lead the course, and I started to say, ooh, I feel a little bit of that resistance popping up to going live, which I feel is totally normal if you're someone who truly cares about teaching. And of course, I'm excited, but also I'm like, hmm, there's something there. So what I did to really notice it popping up, I'd love for you to consider this in your life right now. So I just did something very simple. I just sat, sat on a bed, put my hands on my heart and just breathed for a few minutes, just took a few deep breaths in and just kind of had that personal inquiry. And this, this actually comes from The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. He says that whenever there is resistance or stress or fear that pops up, to go within as the answer will always be there for you. So did some breathing. And then realized, uh, I know what it is. My resistance in this moment is uh, an old pattern I have, which is putting way too much pressure on myself. Actually, there's a few things. Putting way too much pressure on myself, which takes the fun out of doing things. Trying to get it right, whatever right looks like, some mystical rightness, which is really perfectionism at work. A little bit of forcing it versus going with the flow. So instead of just showing up as is transparently, it's like, oh, it's got to look a certain way. It's got to be perfect. Not fun. Also being attached to the outcome. And this I've shared before about codependence when you're leading a course where you almost want to jump through the screen and sit with your students and help them get the results that you envisioned when you first started versus allowing them to have their own experience and going through the course at their own pace. And also, not necessarily in this case, but also some ways that I know resistance is popping up for me, is either hiding or scrolling or eating too much. So I uh, find me with just like a bag of chips or scrolling mindlessly. YouTube shorts is my scroll of choice these days. 
um, and really just saying, hey, we're not in alignment right now. We're not having a good time. There's something going on. So I want to share with you, and this is actually an exercise I did with my students today. Um, what are some ways that you can release resistance in your life today? So everyone's is a little bit different, but what are some ways that you can just essentially take the pressure off, let go of the self-sabotage and get back into your flow, into your zone of genius? A few ways for me, nap time. <laughs> Maybe it is because I'm seven, no, eight months pregnant and really just feeling a lot of energy going towards growing a baby just having a quick power nap or a long power nap. Fresh air. Isn't it nice to just get outside, get some sun on you, get some a fresh breeze, get some clarity coming through. A meditation is also a great way. Also releasing expectations. So we all have dreams and desires for the things that we put out in the world or conversations that we have or fitness goals, but can we just for, for the day, at least, just say, hey, I'm going to let this go for today. Take the heat off. Another one that I'm actually trying as a new practice right now is daily journaling. There's a concept called rage on the page. Uh, I think it's a book as well as I've just kind of heard it floating around in the personal development world. But sometimes you just got to put pen to paper and see, hey, what's kind of going on with me right now? Am I angry? Am I sad? Like what? You know, it's a little emotional work, but I think it's very powerful. Also, just ask myself, how can I make this a little bit more fun? What are some ways I can have my environment be a little bit more fun? So before teaching today, put on some really fun, uplifting music to really just kind of lighten the mood, have some fun coffee drinks <laughs> and um, opening the windows, getting the diffuser going. Just how can you add a little bit more of that fun element into your life? And to me, reading that book, The Power of Now, it always kind of like, I literally can open it to any page and there's a message there about just, hey, be in the moment. Don't focus on when a course is ending. Don't focus on answering emails that are not necessary in this moment. Can we just come back to the now? So I strongly encourage you to, if you are feeling resistance, it's just uncomfortable. It really feels like you have your foot on the gas pedal of life and the brake at the same time, and you're not able to just go forward with ease, sit with yourself for a few minutes, maybe do what I did, put your hand on your heart and just ask yourself, what is going on with me? And, and, and kind of brainstorm a few creative practices to help you release it so you can get out there and show up as your best self and really enjoy life again. And I just want to end, it's a very short, bit of a short check-in with you today, but I want to share with you just a final quote from Stephen Pressfield, which is, don't cheat the world of your contribution. Give it what you got. How many of us are essentially cheating the world or hiding or, or letting the resistance truly win for a long time and not trying it, not putting out your course, putting out your creative project putting something, posting on social media, doing something that allows you to just be self-expressed and try something new. So don't cheat the world of your contribution. Give it what you got. Thank you so much for listening. And I would love it if you would want to share this episode with a friend or potentially join my email list if you want to receive episodes every week and just stay connected, especially as your girl is going to be soon going on maternity leave. I'm going to try to keep that podcast going. So thank you so much for listening today. I hope you have an absolutely brilliant day and take good care of you.